If you want to explore beautiful scenic mountains, deep underground caves, sky-high bridges, hidden waterfalls and watering holes, and unbelievable historic places, this road trip is going to show you how to get the most out of your West Virginia trip. First stop of our trip is the West Virginia Penitentiary. It was first opened in 1876 and worked all the way until 1995. Our tour guide Tina was absolutely fantastic. She took us on a 90 minute tour walk through this gothic style structure and told us all kinds of stories and history facts about this penitentiary as well as some of the people that were in there, the gang stories and all kinds of stuff. Well, see this red line right here? They had to have their arm up and walk along the wall in the line. If somebody steps out of that line, see this little window there? The guard would shoot them immediately. Also, she showed us places where, for example, Christian Bale filmed his movie Out of the Furnace, as well as Bill Skarsgård filmed his TV show Castle Rock would totally recommend it. And also they offer paranormal tours if you're into that. And right across the street of the penitentiary, there's the Grave Creek Mount Archeological Complex. And it was free and also interesting, so check it out. Next stop, Cooper's Rock State Forest. It boasts some of the most iconic views in almost heaven. Cooper's Rock Overview itself, it's a very simple and short 5-7 to seven minute walk from your car. The scenic view will mesmerize you into staying there much, much longer than you have initially planned. The park features canyon overlooks, picnic shelters, 50 miles of hiking and biking trails, sandstone cliffs for climbing and much, much more. After one and a half hours of driving through beautiful mountains, finally get to Black Waterfall State Park near the city Davis. This waterfall is absolutely beautiful and the cool thing is you can access the first overlook with a wheelchair. But if you're willing to walk down the stairs, you can actually get really, really close to the waterfall itself. Grab a map of the rest of the park at the gift shop and visit some other places like the Lindy Point Overlook. And when you get to the end of the quote unquote drivable part, you get out of your car and try not to miss the sign that says Trail to Lindy Point Overlook. You stay patient you're gonna get to the overlook, which doesn't have many people because it's not easy to find, but if you find it, you're welcome. The first day of our road trip is coming to an end. We finally find the perfect place, Mulin Hotel in Moorfield. Part restaurant, part museum, Part hotel, very cute, small rooms, very clean, very affordable, totally recommended. So this is the Merlin Hotel slash museum and check this out. That's our room, that's where we stayed overnight. It is day two of our trip and after some complimentary snacks at the Merlin Hotel and we decided to go to Smoke Hole Caverns. Not too far away, only $17 entrance. It is a nice and interesting tour of the cave. So literally a river inside the cave. It's pretty cool. We arrived a little early, so we got to check out the enormously huge gift shop right next to the entrance. They also have some rooms if you want to stay overnight, as well as a little golf course. Next stop on our trip, the Seneca Rocks one of the best known landmarks in West Virginia. The rocks are a magnificent formation rising nearly 900 feet above the North Fork River. First you go to the visitor center and there on the back porch you take the pictures that will make your social media followers jealous. And here is a pro tip for you. Ask for a map in the visitor center and then drive with your car to the third overflow parking lot. When you park your car Find a slightly hidden trail and go all the way to this very beautiful and magnificent watering hole. Not many people know about this, 
the water is so clean, you can stand neck deep in water and still see your toes move around. Just beautiful. Hit the like on the video, you're welcome. I wanted to really quick mention that even though all these beautiful and scenic mountain roads are extremely pleasurable for the eye, they might be a little tough on your tummy. Also, be ready to not have gas stations cell phone reception for an hour or two on your trips. So buy your paper maps or preload them into your GPS system. Since it was directly on our path, we stopped for a few minutes to check out Green Bank Observatory, which has the world's largest fully steerable radio telescope. This next stop feels like you took the wrong turn and somehow it doesn't feel right, but trust me, just go there. Lost World Caverns. Once you actually walk inside this cave, whoa. Some of the best spent $14 on a self-guided tour, meaning you can spend as long or as little as you want. We have been to so many different caves in so many different states, but truly this one is probably one of the most um, cinematic and just exciting, biggest. You have to come in here and check it out for yourself. All these caves and rocks made us pretty hungry. We stopped at the local place called Thunderbird Tacos. Very affordable food and many of healthy options available. We have a foggy start to our third and final day, but while it's still not very crowded early in the morning, we take off to go to Babcock State Park. Try not to follow the signs for the overlook, but rather for the mill or the gift shop. That's the stuff that you really want to see. Our next stop is the New River Gorge Bridge. Nowadays, it's the fifth longest bridge in the world. 876 feet above the river. It's a sight you absolutely have to see. The plan is to convince her to go with me underneath the bridge there. Put into your GPS Bridgewalk LLC. It's about one minute drive from your parking lot at the guest center and that's where you can take a walking tour underneath the bridge. It took me a while to convince my wife to go with me underneath the bridge and walk the whole length of it. But even she said it's totally worth it. Yes, it's the most expensive tour on this trip at $75 per person, but this is something you truly want to experience. To hook you in, it's totally safe, but you're still gonna get butterflies while you enjoy the absolutely stunning nature and construction of this bridge. Our last stop on this trip, the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. This is the largest hand-cut sandstone building in America and the second largest in the world. There's paranormal tours, but we once again took a more historic approach. You can have a short tour of just the first level or the one we had for $30, which is a tour of all four floors as well as adjacent building. And you get to see where the patients lift, how they lift, how the professors and doctors and nurses lift, and everything else that had to do with the rich history of this place. May I add rich and sad history. They have a little free museum on the very first floor that you can check out for free. So this is the exact route that we took to conveniently get to all the locations. Which iconic place of West Virginia you enjoyed the most and which one we actually missed? I would love to hear from you. Like, comment, subscribe, and maybe even share with your friends. I'll see you in the next one. Love you.